Hello YouTube, this is Kelly. Excuse my hair. I just got out of the shower and it's wet. So, um, anyway, um, it's cold here too. It's supposed to be mid, or I'm sorry, 30 degrees or lower. This is going to be a little bit of a long grocery haul. Um, first I want to say I consider getting ready, getting a new scale. And well, I decided not to because since my last weigh-in on 11-29-2010, 2010 I have got on the scale now two days in a row, Tuesday and Wednesday, as well as Monday, if you want to say three days in a row. And I had to find a place on the floor that it said the same weight and each time, and it did. I mean, I got on it three times, four times, whatever, and it said the same weight. So I'm keeping, keeping it in that spot as I weigh myself. The first time I weigh myself in, that's what I'm going to stick with because it's very accurate in this one spot. Um, probably more than one, but the one that I found the best. Um, I keep my scale in the closet all week long, all week long, except for when I weigh in on Monday, but this week I didn't. I had to, you know, check it out because I didn't really feel that I wanted to go out and spend a lot more money on another scale when this one works fine in a certain spot. I don't keep it in my bathroom because then I will tend to weigh in every day. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it in the closet like I always have. In the bathroom would have been fine, but I tend to want to jump on it every day. So, you know, I don't want to do that. Anyway, also I considered getting or ordering the new deluxe kit for Weight Watchers. I do Weight Watchers online. I pay $17.95 a month. Now, I just recently, not too long ago, got, not too long ago, got a calculator that... Um, calculated my points but now with the new points plan it's not doing that so I'm not going to buy the kit I'm just going to keep my own journals on my weight loss and they have online if you're online doing Weight Watchers they have the calculator right there and everything else you need so I don't see myself buying that because it's just useless I mean when I can make my own journal to begin with and um, also I can get recipes offline on the weightwatchers.com as well as calculate everything that I'm doing. So why I pay again? You know, I'm not going to. But I am really excited about this new plan. But um, I do have this scale. Weight Watcher scale. The only, the only reason I'm not going to get another one is because I only used it for the ounces. So that's what I'm going to keep using it for. So I'm not going to buy another one of those either. Anyway, I pay $17.95 a month. Let's move on to the grocery haul. I pay $17.95 a month for Weight Watchers and um, online. And um, I wrote that down. Oh, and another thing I wanted to share is my husband went to medical because he had to get a checkup because he's getting ready to retire after 20 years. This is, he got me for free when I want to quit smoking. And it's got so much like, you know, when I'm ready to quit, what I want to do, and if I have a relapse, you know, they're there for me, whatever. But it's got like a journal. It's got a, it's really thick. It's a good size, you know, good size book. And I thought this was awesome. This is like the best gift anybody could get me. Um, I love my husband. Not just for that, but for other reasons. Okay, my grocery haul. I always get the, I like to stick with the chunk or the, albacore tuna and this is chunk light but or chunk white I'm sorry but that's okay this is like still only two points um, to have the whole can with the water because I don't get it in oil I get it in the water and then I also got a bunch of cans of these actually my husband does the grocery shopping because of my anxiety and panic disorder but this is 97% I don't know if you can see it 97% fat free chicken breast, two points for the whole can. So it makes a decent sized sandwich. Okay. Uh, this is my all time favorite smart ones. I know that the smart ones say, this one says five points, but it's probably about seven points. It's, it's better than takeout Chinese. Even though it's Thai, it's better than takeout Chinese. And of course, you can see I like them, and I told them to get more than one. So. Okay, and my desserts, I really don't have a sweet tooth, but I like to stock up because when I do have a sweet tooth, especially when Mother Nature hits and it's basically around the corner somewhere, feels like it anyway. The first time I'm ever going to try this, the chocolate chip cookie dough sundae. I've never tried it, but 
my daughter ate one of my other ones, the peanut butter cup, but it was okay because, I, like I said, I don't really delve. I don't really get into the, the sweets. And then this one looks pretty good, strawberry shortcake. It says four points. It was probably five points now. I'll just have to look at the stuff, you know, since we're doing it different. I have to look at this. And I'm trying to make this fast because I know it's going to... Oh, and then I got lumpia wraps. My kids love lumpias, especially my son Brian, and I love them too. But I don't know what this is going to be, but I got these. I've ha actually had these in the freezer for a couple of days. I got two packs. Here's the other pack. But um, then these egg rolls I got from Schwann's. They were three points per egg roll. I don't know what they're going to be now. Probably four points, five points. I don't know. I don't have that many left in there, like four or five maybe, if not a little bit more. And then, of course, the all-famous peanut butter cup sundae. These are awesome. They're delicious when you are craving something. Tonight, I took a nap, and I woke up at about 4.30 or 5. Everybody was gone, and I had one of these. It was delicious. It kind of curved my appetite because I had a dream about Taco Bell. Called my husband. Oops. Caused my hu called my husband, and I was proud of myself. I'm trying to grab my turkey burgers. <laughs> I called my husband and told him I wanted Taco Bell. But they're four points for the salsa or the fresco tacos. Salsa fresco tacos. But I kind of woke up a little bit and I said no. I got on the scale because like I said I've been testing it. And I was like no. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to cave in. So I said just get me McDonald's. The, the chicken salad. It was a grilled bacon ranch chicken salad. It's only six points. And for the, good, uh, the Newman's low-fat dressing that it, that it comes with if you ask for it, it's only one point. So that was seven points for dinner. Um, I still have four points to begin with. But I got these Jenny O all-natural tur all turkey burgers. I can't talk tonight. And um, anyway, these were four points. And I was trying to get the ones that were one point, but these are probably about five or six points now. But I had those for a couple of days. Then I got Morningstar bacon strips. These are veggie bacon strips. Um, I got a couple of packs of those, and then I still have some from the last time I got. These are really, really good. And I did the garden burgers from there, but they were four points as well. But then I got the teriyaki chicken and vegetables, four points, which is probably five. You know, I have to look on the back. Swedish meatballs. I'm trying to do this fast because I only have so much time. Creamy rigatoni with broccoli and chicken. Um, I love my smart ones because they're just so easy to throw in. Yes, they're high in sodium, but you know what? I don't eat a lot of salt, so I figure that's good enough sodium for me. This one is Salisbury steak. This one I have never tried, and I've had it in there for a couple of weeks. It's called mini rigatoni with vodka cream, vodka cream sauce. I don't know. I'll try that out. This is another of my all-time favorites. It's pasta with ricotta and spinach. This is really good. I don't know what the point's going to be once I get done. Same thing. I got another one of those. And then I got Santa Fe style rice and beans, which is really good. It has sour cream in it. Of course, low fat sour cream. Sweet and sour chicken, which I also like. I love all the oriental ones. They're just the Asian, the oriental, the Thai. They're really good. Another Santa Fe style rice and beans. Oh gosh, I got a lot to do. And then I got key lime pie as a dessert. Actually, my husband, I wrote this down. I just told him to pick out desserts. I didn't really care on the desserts. Another Santa Fe style rice and beans. I should have did this with a camera. It might have went a, went a little bit faster. Three cheese ziti marinara. I'm going to have to do a part two, y'all, because this is going to go over. Three cheese ziti marinara. And then I've got the same thing, three cheese, zizzini, marinara, um, sweet and sour chicken, another one. Look at all this. It's like, oh dear. Okay, chicken enchiladas, chicken enchiladas, Monterey. Those are really good. And same, uh, this is chicken enchilada, Suiza. Um, Angel hair marinara. I'm not really hip, and I think I had this in there on the marinara sauce. I don't really care for the pasta pizza sauce or the spaghetti sauce. 
Same with this one, lasagna florentine. I, I like this one because it's all veggie. There's no really no meat in it. Um, this one is pasta primavera. And then we got chicken fettuccine, which is another one of my favorites. My daughter, too. She always cleans me out. She's like, Mom, can I have this? I'm like, sure, sweetheart, go ahead. And she's, she's giggling. Oh, this is my favorite. I think I should do this in the beginning. Thai-style chicken and rice noodles. That is the bomb. It's like takeout Chinese or Thai food. And here's another one my husband got me. Like four or five of them because he knows I like them. And then another fic, uh, ficken? <laughs> another ficken cettuccine. Another chicken fettuccine. <laughs> my daughter's laughing. Anyway, um, okay. I think I have a little bit of time left to do a little bit more. I'm going to have a part two on this. I finally got the egg beaters. Yay. Anyway. I still will eat regular eggs, but that's going to be my replacement. Oh, and this is the bomb. I've had this, but I want to get more. He didn't get me more, but I'm going to have him get me some more. Because I kind of like that. Anyway, diet cranberry juice. Normally, an 8-ounce glass would be a point, to, up to 3 points, I believe. This, well, according to the new plan, I don't know what it is. But it was 0 points for 8 ounces. And I got this because I minced garlic. I got an idea off of somebody. I can't remember who it was. I think it was a Totally New Me 2010. I love this because I don't like ch to chop my own garlic. And this is just a leftover from my peanut butter cup thing. Okay. Now, I will be back with part two. Thank you. See you in it. See you in a few.